Good afternoon everybody. It's me in my workshop again. Yes, it's Saturday and uh, working again tomorrow in Surrey in the showroom. Obviously uh, working showrooms have to be done normally when they're closed. So uh, normally Christmas or sometimes now on Sundays. So yeah, tomorrow off to Surrey. But anyway, enough of that. Kitchen I've got now, uh, dismantled on Thursday. A few doors there that I've been doing today. Um, it's unusual because the finish of the doors is a sprayed finish and obviously it's flawless. But the client was unhappy. One with the colour match, which uh, she's not happy with. It should be an equivalent of Farrow and Ball Purbeck Stone. Um, she had a, another writing bureau in the house painted with Farrow and Ball. Perbeck stone and there is a difference there is definitely a difference so that's one reason I'm repainting it the other one is she said when she gets any grease or whatever on the front of the doors she can't clean it off it leaves a mark um, which I was quite surprised about but anyway it's not mine to argue or question why I've been told to repaint it by hand that's what I'm doing so uh, usual thing Otex straight on the top yeah, I think it's an AC primer definitely that's on there and something similar for the top coat. But again, to aid the flow, if I'm competing with a flawless sprayed finish, the primer needs to flow quite well. So, my usual thing with waterborne paint is a spray gun. This has got white spirit in it, but it must have a fine mist. And this is perfect. So I normally go to the doors A really fine mist over them, a white spirit. You don't really want to get uh, runs if you can. You'll probably see from there, it spreads out over the surface. When the Otex goes on top, it without a doubt helps in the, uh, in the flow of the paint. And I've done some here earlier. Just change uh, there. These have just been done. And as you say, well, a perfect finish. I'm really happy with that. You would think, yeah, that's as good as a sprayed finish. So once that primer's on there as good as that, it's perfect, ready to take the top coat, which my favourite, once again, is Unica. Um, any previously painted or varnished kitchens, my uh, choice always these days, although we're being pushed towards waterborne, water-based products, I'm sorry, but if um, I've tried so many different paints from different manufacturers that say it's as hard wearing as the solvent based, um, it's not. Uh, if it's two pack, without a doubt, yes it is, it's fantastic. But um, all the tests I've done myself with my son Sam, there's still no waterborne product that will withstand the wear and tear that Unica will take. It really is remarkable. It's fantastic stuff. The Unica there in the orange tins. So that's my, still my recipe for complete success when it's painting kitchens. Anything previously painted, Otex and Unica. Um, until they bring out something that can come out of one tin that is as good as, then I will obviously change but um, I can't put my reputation or the finish of a kitchen on the line when I know myself, the wearability just isn't there. And I've spoken to a few, uh, we would say, painting professionals in the industry, and um, they're almost, they, won't, they don't like to agree, but I can tell from their reaction, but yeah, it's right. There still isn't anything out there in a tin that comes out of one tin that will compete with the old water, ball, uh, water um, solvent based products. But anyway, get on with these doors now. Three more to do and off home. Cheers. <laughs> 